Remember when I said hold that thought? Way back then. Uh, as Eddie's flying into uh, London, uh, he's free after three months in jail. You know. uh, well, <clears throat> Eddie hands his passport to the English uh, Customs and uh, Immigration. When he lays his passport on the table, he notices a piece of paper inside. Immediately he snatches that up and puts it in his pocket. Uh, outside the airport, Eddie uh, reads the dreaded uh, passport embedded note. Uh, to his shock, you know, he discovers the Danish police are encouraging the English authorities to deport him to the United States to fail, uh, you know, to face charges, uh, drug charges in the United States. Another trial. <laughs> Escape the bullet. Whoa. Oh. And, uh, yeah, lucky for Eddie. He feels ecstatic after that. I mean, uh, this ranks up with the day he got rejected from the military. This is like, okay, day number two, uh, this one. Uh, yeah, uh, well, Eddie uh, is going to be 42 pretty soon. And, uh, yeah. The prison uh, bust disturbs Eddie's uh, flow. Uh, finds himself in <laughs> bleak, wintry London. Late December, English weather miserable, freezing, Ugh. and London seems like a madhouse, you know, compared to this quiet prison cell in Copenhagen. And he wonders, how do people live in this noise and congestion when they could be living in Morocco or India? Well, look, at 42 years old, Eddie is not a uh, innocent, starry-eyed uh, India lover with connoisseur hashish and Kipling-like tales to bedazzle his friends in Europe. Uh, it's not a pretty picture now. He's been brutalized by uh, soul-sickening encounters with nation-state police. Yeah, uh, he's... He's got eight fingers. I mean, how recognizable can you get when you're on the run? Well, Eddie, he moves around uh, cautiously like a fugitive. Uh, but is Eddie even wanted in Europe anymore? That poison in it. Note in his passports made him paranoid. He can't not know, like, will he be rearrested when he needs to renew his American passport next time? Uh, <sighs> yeah, Eddie. Starved for uh, kind hearted humans. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, True freedom. Uh, so he mulls over uh, traveling on the Hashish Trail again from Istanbul to India. <laughs> but too cold. Those Turkish mountains in eastern Turkey. <laughs> too cold. He concludes realistically, yeah. So he decides on Morocco again for the winter, uh, takes the train from Copenhagen. Uh, from, he tra takes the train out of London on Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody moving then, huh? Train almost empty. Okay. In Morocco for a second winter, uh, maybe he tries to get his groove back. Uh, oh, here comes Danish Gazilla, former girlfriend from Copenhagen. Oh. Lives on America scene uh, 19. She and Eddie make love, move in together in the Cosbo. 
and uh, some other friends, Miriam, Steve, also from Denmark, and uh, Eddie gives them the rundown. Uh, Moroccan Keef is weaker than Afghani hashish. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Uh, but the uh, marjoun biscuits uh, laced with Keef, the biscuits are stronger. <laughs> yeah. Well, a petty Moroccan uh, detective be friends. Gisela. Hmm. Yeah, he's worried now. He's showing her around the Cosmo. Why? Probably to get information on him. <sighs> Can't seem to shake that uh, on the run feeling. Uh, <clears throat> well, uh, When Gazella is preparing a, a, a shipment of in, intoxicating uh, marjun biscuits to post to COVID, Eddie warns her, like, oh, be cautious. I'm not altogether unknown, you know, and uh, possibly we're being watched. I received letters from my mother and my ex-wife. Um... The FBI visited them in their homes. So uh, if your friends in Copenhagen want to get high, let them come here. Uh, well, Steve, he's shooting amphetamine. For a company, he gives Gisela a fix to, and they spend the night together on the floor making speed freak drawings. Well, American Bill comes on the scene in America. Mm -hmm. With Sandoz, Pierre Pharmaceutical, all that. He's still legal. Uh, and he becomes the guide for Eddie's first acid trip. Oh, yeah. <sighs> well, first, uh, Bill counsels Eddie. Read uh, The Psychedelic Experience by Timothy Leary. <laughs> Eddie gets off. On the LSD. Completely. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, through Eddie's eyes on the acid, huh? Because Ella seems to be walking in slow, jerky movements, like she's an oh, oh, sepia toned old uh, movie movie actress shot in an insane asylum. Because Ella pulls me to her. I Yes, her body, lips, clitoris. 